In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Roku account without having to put in your credit card or your PayPal information. It's pretty simple to do. You're basically going directly to Roku's website and just do it that way without, you know, going through pairing, which will not allow you to uh, enter or get a Roku account without putting your credit card information in. And this website, of course, is Roku's. It's not some third party, whatever. Uh, this will work. So before you would usually put in your, you know, they would ask you for your credit card information. And right here on the very bottom, they would have a little, little thing where you can click on skip. And when you click skip, then you can bypass the credit card information. Well, with new, uh, you know, with the new setup, they have it to where you can't do that. So, but you still can do it. You just go directly to the website. So what you do is you have to go on your smartphone or on a computer. And what you're going to do is you're going to enter it. You're going to log in. You want to set up an account with Roku, and you want to do it by entering in this website. And I'll put this website link on, in the description, and I'll pin it on the top comment. That way, you can just you know get it and click it, or whatever. So you'll see magic happen when you when you go to this website with Roku's website, where they'll ask you for your credit card, but all of a sudden you'll see that skip button. So when we enter in this Roku.com sign up N O C C. It's going to all of a sudden, you're going to see where it says name your device and all that stuff. Well, that will happen after you click skip this step on the credit card. Now, when you click on skip this step, it'll get you to where you set up your Roku device and you'll never see it again. And so that that is when the magic starts happening and then you'll be all set. There's multiple reasons why you would want to put in your credit card information. You wouldn't want your credit card information to get stolen. You wouldn't want uh, it to get into the wrong hands and then someone to run up your bill. That's completely understandable. But you got to look at it from Roku's standpoint. They're they're doing it to make it you know easier for you to sign up for apps that are you know you have to pay for. And also too, it's kind of inertia. They're doing it for an economic reason. That's the reason that they're hiding this process and making it harder for you not to have to put in a credit card information. Because through inertia, if there's like a five dollar bill here that you could pay, they know that once you enter that credit card information, then all of a sudden they get the ball rolling and they're like, aha. Five dollars one month, ten dollars the next month, twenty dollars the next month. So that's the reason that they're trying to get their credit card information. It's not for any nefarious reason. Well, they'll start charging you or whatever. But let's face it: a lot of people don't have credit cards. A lot of people don't have PayPal. You know, so why should they have to enter something in that they don't have? All right. So you get the picture. All right. Thanks for watching.